So, this is the uplifting part of the uh, program, when things fall apart, when things don't go right. So, uh, um, as we know, um, we're all here, we want to change the world. The UN is here to change the world, to try to make a better world. And we know, we're all also very excited about the possibilities of technology, all the things technology can do, that new media can connect people across the world, bridge ideas. But unfortunately, it's not enough just to want this to happen we really need to think about how best to do it. And as you can see, success depends on preparation, and without preparation, there's sure to be failure. So let me tell you a story about something that happened to me earlier in my career. Back in uh, the dark, dark, distant past of 2008, we were working on developing a first social media platform for, um, for work in UNICEF, where I was working at the time. So this is the, the vision. The vision is a global connectivity across the world of all our staff so that people can talk to each other from across the world. We can break down all those kind of silos and bureaucracies and people can really share knowledge effectively so that we can do our job. And this is going to be great because now you'll be able to find experts, you'll be able to find information, and you'll be able to find what you want at the time. The only challenge with that is our management weren't really convinced. They're like, we don't really get the social media stuff. We don't know what it's for. And perhaps the other challenge is, um, you know, our IT department are like, what, do you want to do this kind of Facebook stuff? We don't want any of that. That's security and danger, and we don't want to do that. We want to do the things the old-fashioned way. So we kind of agitated a little bit and laid low. And then suddenly, we had an opportunity. If we filled in lots and lots of grant requests, we might be able to get a small amount of money that was left over from another project. So literally, we spent um, months and months and months filling out grant requests, trying to get a little bit of money just to prove this concept and start something off. And instead of focusing on what makes the project work, we spend our whole time writing grant requests. Then suddenly, at the last minute, we got money. But the only challenge was, you have two months to spend it. Can you develop a social networking system, a Facebook for UNICEF, in two months with a few thousand dollars? So now we're off, we're running, we're trying to get it done. Um, we're, working, we're working hard. Um, we're thinking, how do we do this? Um, we're trying to get people on board who want to work with us. So, we find a solution, Drupal. I don't know how many of you know about Drupal. It's the new, um, one of the new platforms for developing websites. Obama uses it. Great, we can use this too. If Obama can do it, we can do it. Change.org uses this. We can use Drupal. So suddenly we find a developer, someone said, oh, I have a friend who has a friend and he can develop a website. Um, he's not busy, he's very cheap. Warning signs. When you get a recommendation like that, you know that there's red lights to go off. But anyway, we, we start working. We build a, we build a Drupal site. And here's what it looks like. So it's not necessarily the prettiest site, but we had a website, we had content, we had people engaged. Looks great. It's a functioning website. We've got, you know, we've practiced. We can get this out and we can get this to work. Wow, this is amazing. We did it in a couple of months with no money. So obviously, obviously everything's going to go really, really well. But what were the problems? First thing, too many bells and whistles. The developer was like, well, we want to have social media. We want to link to Twitter. We want online video, streaming video. Um, you want to have everything. So he, he, he wasn't interested in doing just a simple site. He wanted to do a site that did absolutely everything. That was, it's better than the Obama site. We can do everything. Only challenge is we have to remember, what are we dealing with when we're trying to connect staff in the UN across the world? Yeah, this is a problem. We've got people who are working the same way for, um, you know, they've been working this way for 20, 30 years, working in development, and we're saying suddenly, why don't you all use um, this new social media tool to change your work? Why don't you all do this? But they were saying, well, why do we do this? What, what's in it for us? The other problem was the system didn't actually work. It came out with error messages like this. So um, we went back to the developer and said, well, it's obviously we can't have a message like this. And uh, he's kind of like, well, no, I'm now on another project, and I'm working on something else. And so we had this system that didn't work. And you imagine you get someone from far away in, a, in, in working in a, in a country somewhere in very difficult situation with poor internet connection. We're asking them to try out this tool and we get this kind of error message and then we can't help them to make it work. The other issue is it doesn't connect to our systems. People are saying, well, I have to do another login. I have to, I have to use this tool separately. How does this relate to the finance? How does this relate to my everyday work? So everyone 
people were saying, I don't understand. Why should we use social networking? Why do we do this? We've been working the way we've been working for all this time. How does this link to what I'm doing? And our IT department are like, well, you went with these developers. We don't want to talk to, you know, we don't want to help you support this now. This is your problem. You got into this. The final problem is, even with a project like this that's not working, what happens is when you've invested money in something, you say, well, if we just put a little bit of energy in, we can fix it. If we just find a little bit more money, we just spend a little bit more time. So this becomes the zombie project that never dies, but never gets fixed and never works. So this is, this is where we are. And we were like this for a very, very long time. Um, we, were, we, we, couldn't, um, we couldn't give ourselves to give this project a decent burial. So just a few lessons from this. If you want to fail in a project, here's a few things you can do. Chase really small sums of money and spend ages trying to please the donor. Accept lots of paperwork. F fill in all the paperwork you can. Impossible deadlines. We can do it in a couple of weeks. Choose a really complex, fancy software that everyone's talking about, but you have no clue how it works. Um, don't have tech support. Don't involve your IT department and, they don't, and, and don't have them help you. Um, forget about the people. It's not about the people. It's all about technology. If we give them the technology, everyone will suddenly get along. When we came to do it again, we had a second opportunity to develop an online system. And here are some of the lessons we learned the hard way. Listen to your clients. Talk to the people who are doing this work first. Focus on the people and how they work and what they do. Don't focus on the technology. I think you need to admit that you don't know everything. You don't have all the answers. Ask other people. Ask for advice. Don't think that you've got the solution to everything. Um, learn from the past experience, not just your own experience but learn from other people's experience. Find other people who've tried to do these projects and failed and find out why they failed it. So here are the final um, secrets. Preparation, hard work, learning from failure. If you're not failing and you're not learning from failure, you're not achieving something. So you need to take a risk. You need to try to do something new. You need to be prepared to fail, but you also need to do your homework and make sure that when you do fail, you learn from it and that you learn from the failure of others. Thanks very much.